ChatGPT just got five major upgrades that make it 100 times more useful than it's ever been before, and you probably miss these because of all the news going on. Because ChatGPT now has a think mode that's incredibly similar to DeepSync, you can now upload a screenshot into ChatGPT and it will literally code whatever it sees, for example, a competitor's website or pop-up widget, and you can now get ChatGPT to go through your email and pull out specific things for you. But that's just the beginning, so let's get into all these different changes. Change number one is that ChatGPT officially launched Think mode. In order to access this, all you have to do is turn this on right here, which is just going to use more intelligence, or if you click into view tools, you are going to see the same exact thing here. So as you can see, if I come into more models and I come into GP40 Mini, guess what? I can turn this on and now I can access 01 from within this model. And you could do this from within any model. So if we come into 4.0, we can do the same exact thing. And what this is going to do is give us better responses and it's going to cause ChatGPT to think more before it actually responds. Look at the difference between these two prompts and how much of a difference this makes. Okay, so here's the prompt that we're gonna test and we're gonna do this with ChatGPT4. Obviously, you wouldn't actually be using this, but I want to use this in order to show off the difference between not having Think and having Think activated. So we're going to ask both of them the same exact prompt. Hey, ChatGPT, I want you to answer like Warren Buffett. Use all the knowledge he has in any and every available information about how he thinks. My challenge is how to solve the US debt crisis. Now provide me a detailed 500 word answer with three action points. If we ask just GPT-4 to do that, and then we do GPT-4 with think mode, look at the difference here. This actually goes through and it starts thinking. And if we click into this, we're going to be able to see exactly how this actually thinks in here and all of the different things that it is going to be thinking through. Now, if we come over here, this just gives us a different answer. But what we can also see is I ask this to make sure that this stays under 500 words. And I don't know if this is actually actually under 500 words. But what we can see here is that one, we need to enhance revenue through tax reforms, promote economic growth by investing in the future, imprudent spending and fiscal responsibility. And then it gives a bunch of different bullet points here. Now, if we come over back over here, what we're going to see is we're going to see a much different answer. In fact, this gives us three things right here, rein in non-productive spending, encourage economic growth through innovation and incentives, and then maintain confidence and transparency. On top of that, this did a way better job actually answering because I just wanted three action points. I think this might have misunderstood me and gave me three different bullet points for each action point. But that's just the first upgrade that ChatGPT got. Now basically everybody can use it. The second upgrade that we have to go through is you can now upload screenshots into Canvas. It can recreate whatever you gave it a screenshot of with code and you can preview it straight from within ChatGPT. Check this out. So let's say that we have this right here. It's a pop-up that I got from one of my competitors. You could do this with a landing page. You could do this with a feature. You could do this with anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to ChatGPT. I'm going to change this model up here. We're going to click right here and we're going to come into Canvas. Now what I'm going to say is I want you to recode slash recreate the exact screenshot I am sharing with you so that I can preview it and then add and then add it to my website. Now from here, I need to come over here. I need to grab this screenshot. I'm gonna put this right in here. And this is basically magic. In fact, this is I think the craziest thing or one of the craziest things you can currently do with ChatGPT besides the last thing I'm gonna share with you in this video. So as you can see, this is going through. This is literally coding this exact thing and I can continue to chat with it here. So let's say that after it's done, I wanna change something, I can come in here and change it. Or if I wanna add something, I could come in here and add it. Or I could just add chat GPT, hey, do you think red text would be better or green text? What color button do you think would be good given the goal that I have? So now this is completely done and watch this. We can now click preview right here and look at what this does. We just click allow right here and boom, it literally just coded the exact thing that I needed. This is crazy. You can do this with landing pages. You could do this with pop-ups. You could do this with forms. You could even do this to actually code out the HTML or CSS for a new tool or new feature that you want to create. Let's say that you wanted to go to your competitor's website, take one of their tools, but you wanted to tweak it. You wanted to make it different. You wanted to make it better. You can do this now with ChatGPT and literally have it code up the initial thing. 
But those are just the first two upgrades. There are three more and they are only going to get crazier and crazier, especially if you spend way too much time in email because now you could get ChatGPT to begin to automate some of those tasks. But before we get into those, I need you to smash the subscribe button if you want to get better with the latest and greatest AI tools and know exactly how to use them. So this next thing is going to be using projects with Canvas. Now, if you are writing things, for example, you're crafting emails, you're making blog posts, you're making scripts or videos, you're writing anything, this is going to be like doing steroids. Check this out. You can now create a project here. For example, I'm going to put in YouTube scripts is what I'm going to name this project. And then what you can do from in here is you can add in different sources and basically exactly what you want this to be able to do. For example, I went through and I created this right here, which is different script outlines that I use for my YouTube. YouTube videos. So I say, please find below three different outlines that I use for YouTube scripts. I want you to have this information so that you know how I like to script out my videos and we can work on creating outlines for videos based on different titles. And then we can fill them in together. So I have outline number one in here. I have outline number two. I have outline number three. The more outlines you give this, the better it's going to be. You don't have to do it just for your scripts. You could do it with your competitor's scripts also. And again, you could do this for blogs, for YouTube scripts anything that you are writing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this into a file for this project. In fact, I want it to go in here, not where it just went, where it went within the chat. So we're going to add this in here. Now, essentially what this is going to do, this is going to train ChatGPT inside of this specific project on this exact knowledge that I put in here. In addition to that, I can put in custom instructions here. For example, I need you to be an expert script writer for YouTube videos in the how to grow on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok niche. I need to use you to outline my videos. I have given you specific instructions in a file with the three ways I like to outline my videos. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna click save here. Again, the more information you give this, the better. Put in competitors things, put in your top video things, put in all the outlines that you have, all the scripts that you have. Now what you can do from here is you can come in here and click on Canvas. Now what you're going to do is you are gonna say something along the lines of please write me a script outline based on the information I've given you about how I do it for a video with the title, and then we need to come up with a YouTube title. For example, this right here, seven upload mistakes that ruin your views on YouTube in 2025, not what you think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this, and then this is where this is really going to get crazy. This goes ahead, and this puts the title up here, it puts the hook up here, it is doing it in the same exact format that I created all of the different outlines in. You can see the mistake here. You can see it has a bunch of things here and then it has transition phrases and then it has mistakes. And this is literally exactly what I gave it. This is the exact strategy that I know is going to work to hold people's retention. And now from here, what we can do is wait for this to finish. And then this is where this really starts to get crazy. Okay, so now that this is done, we can actually begin to access this inside of Canvas. Now what we can do here is start to write things in. For example, mistake number one, uploading videos with the wrong settings. Now what I can do is I can get rid of this right here or I can ask ChatGPT to edit or explain this. For example, I'm gonna say, please replace this with three setting mistakes people make when they upload YouTube videos Give one to two sentences for each setting. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that, and this is going to go through, and this is going to actually edit this. And this is how you should be crafting blogs. This is how you should be crafting scripts. This is how you should be crafting any type of writing, because otherwise you are gonna be asking ChatGPT to do something that it is not actually good at doing, and this is how you should actually script out your videos. So now this is gonna go through, and this does this. The other thing that I could do, let's say that I don't like the hook that they put in here. What I can do, is go like this right here. I could take this hook and I can say, please make this shorter, but the same context. It should only be one to two sentences and should invoke 
curiosity a bit more. Now what this is gonna do, again, it's going to go through and edit it. The other thing that you could do right here is if you click on this right here, you can change your reading level, you can add a final polish, you can add in emojis, you can adjust the length of it, or you could edit it however you would like. And this is what you need to make sure that you are doing whenever you are writing anything in ChatGPT because this is literally 100 times better than anything else you could do. Now upgrade number four, before we get into the last and most important upgrade is coming over here to operator. Now right now this is only available on the pro plan, but this is going to get rolled out to everybody soon. So please just be patient and watch as I blow your mind with this. So you can do several different things here. You could have this find different dining and events. You can literally have it order things on DoorDash. You could have it find local services, shopping, travel. You can have it find news. You can have this do tons and tons of different things. Now let's come into my chats so I can show you one of the things that I did with this. I got this to go through my email and look at specific things. So if we pull this up right here, we're going to be able to see exactly how this was actually done. So originally I said, I need you to go through my Gmail for me. It said, I'm unable to access your Gmail account. However, I can guide you through the steps to navigate it. And I said, no, no, no. Not good enough. I said, please pull up Gmail. It then pulled up Gmail and then I said, please go to gmail.com. It did that. It went through and it actually did that. We can check that right here and we could actually watch a screen recording of this doing this. And then I took control. I logged in for it quickly. And this is where the magic really started to happen. The next thing that I asked it was I started to do specific things with it. For example, please mark all of my emails from Ty Lopez as read for the last 30 days. It went ahead and it did that. The next thing I wanted it to do was I wanted it to find all of my emails that mention a refund. Guess what it did? It went through and it actually did that. In fact, we can watch it do this right here. Literally comes over here, it clicks in refund, and it goes through and figures out exactly who asked for a refund, and then it spit back to me exactly what those email addresses were. And this was all happening in the background while I was doing more useful things. So if you have side tasks that typically you would save for later or you'd have an assistant do or something like that, you can now get ChatGPT operators to do this in the background and it doesn't stop with checking your email. You could have it search for things. For example, let's say that you were trying to find homes that were undervalued on Zillow. You can tell it to go and do that. It is going to do that in the background and then report back to you with all the different links all the different pages that are undervalued on Zillow. Now the final and last upgrade that ChatGPT got is going to allow you to schedule out tasks for the future. I cannot emphasize how important this is and you need to make sure that you're doing this. In fact, you need to go to ChatGPT right now, tell it exactly what you do for work, what you do in your personal life, exactly who you are if it doesn't already know it and ask it, hey, what things should I have you schedule out for me to save time so I can make more money and ultimately so that I can make my life better? In fact, you could set up a task where ChatGPT goes and does this for you every day. Check this out. So there are two ways for you to actually access this. You could come up here to the top right hand corner. You can click on tasks right here. And then this is going to show you all of your tasks if you had some set up. I have a few different ChatGPT accounts. So on this one specifically, I don't have anything set up. But on another one, I have a bunch of them set up. And then basically what this looks like is they email me. I have some set for every hour on the hour. They literally email me with a bunch of different updates. For example, I have it search for trending news related to AI topics so I know what to talk about in my videos. I also have it check certain stocks for me. Like I have it check this stock VGT to see if it's still above 550 or not. I also have it create a meal plan for me. I also have it create workout plans for me. And I also have it send me new ideas on what kind of tasks I should get it to do. Now here's what this actually looks like. You are gonna see that it is going to send you a task right here. All you have to do is click view message right here and boom, it is going to bring you into a chat GPT conversation where that conversation was being had. Now, in order to actually set this up, it's quite simple. You literally just open up a new chat. You come up here, you change the model over to what schedule test and you say something along the lines of, I want you to schedule a task to go off at 9 a.m. every day where you update me with news that is specific to me. I like tech, I like the New York Yankees, and I like the Florida Panthers hockey team. Only include news 
related to this. Now what this is going to do, we just click that right there. This is going to go through and this is going to confirm that this actually scheduled that test. It says, got it. I'm going to keep you up to date with that. Now, this will then get sent to my email. Now look at this. If we click in here right now, we could see the custom instructions. We could see when it's going to be sent. We could see what time. We could see the name of it. And we can also pause or delete it if we wanted to change anything. I would always make sure that you come in here and double check these custom instructions right here because you want to make sure that this actually got this right. If it didn't get it right, then it could send you things that were wrong. For example, some things I've seen this not get right, like Florida Panthers right here. It might have thought it was a North Carolina Panthers football team, which is why I was super specific. So please just make sure you come in here and you are super specific all this because the more specific you are, the more specific the results you're going to get, the happier you are going to be with this. And again, you could literally have this check anything. You could have it notify you of anything. You could have it do anything. The only thing that's going to hold you back is how creative you are. If you thought this video was crazy, you are going to be mind blown when you see DeepSeek's new R1 model. If you haven't seen that yet, watch this video right here that explains seven different hacks that you could use with DeepSeek, the latest and greatest LM that is going to blow your mind. I'll see you over there.